Hi, Dad. Welcome back to a, another episode of David Andy's Honest About Life. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Andy. How about yourself? I am wonderful, thank you. Good. So, taste buds. And I think about this because, you know, we've all, as children, suffered uh, from sitting at the table, you know, parents saying you have to eat your peas, your carrots. You know, uh, for me, it was coleslaw because you love Kentucky Fried Chicken. And you'd always say you can't leave the table until you have at least one spoonful of coleslaw. Gross. <laughs> Oh, this and, is great. <laughs> so I love their coleslaw too. Kentucky <laughs> Fried Chicken has the best coleslaw. I think. I think they have the best chicken, but that coleslaw, <laughs> it smells like it tastes like it's been sitting in the sun for months. Gross. I just I think they have they put a lot of sugar in it. They're, it's very sweet, but yet cabbage is one of the better things for you. So I just I think, well, I'm eating cabbage and lots of it. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. So why do you think it is that parents absolutely insist that, these, that the kids sit at the table and eat vegetables, which, you know, the kind of vegetables that make your face turn in? They're so <laughs> what is the benefit of that? I, th I think that's a very good point. And I think young kids, and I don't know if this is true, but I've heard that the younger you are, the more vibrant your taste buds are. I mean, you can you taste everything a little bit more. So as the older you get, the less um, that happens. And I think you can tolerate some of those flavors you couldn't tolerate as a young person because you are getting the whole brunt of that flavor and you may not like it, but then as you get older, your taste buds kind of fade, I think. I, that's just what I've heard. But I, I do believe that it's something that the parents are trying to um, get the vitamins, You know, make sure that their kids are gonna be healthy and one way is to eat your vegetables. Um, you know, that's a, that's a good diet plan. Um, and, and as parents, you want the best for your kids. And so even though they may be just hating it, you, you still make them eat it. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> Carrie has an interesting story about her parents used to make them eat peas. And uh, her older brother, who's about 18 months older than Carrie, he used to hide the peas underneath the plate so that he'd wait for the parents to leave the table. And then when they'd leave, he'd scoop up the peas and either feed them to the dog or he'd put them into his milk. And then because they felt like they wanted to save their milk, somebody would pour that milk back into the jug. And then, of course, when you go to pour that milk over your cereal the next day, you have peas in your cereal. That is funny. That's too funny. You know, you know, Aunt Lorraine, I do. my sister, she used to hide them behind the door in her bedroom. She'd put them in her mouth like she had eaten them, but she'd save them in her mouth and then she'd spit them out behind the door. And, you know, it'd be a couple of days before they got found and they'd be hard as rock. I could use them for marbles, you know. Oh, pretty funny. So before we end this session, which is hilarious, what was it? Can you remember what you didn't care for as a child, but now you love to eat? You know, this is a good one. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts you know, when I was younger, I thought they tasted horrible. They were like little cabbages. And I don't know if it was prepared, not the greatest. My mom used to prepare them, Brussels sprouts with like liver. I think we, we'd have them with liver. Liver itself was, was not the greatest. But when you mix Brussels sprouts with it, she thought it was good, I think. Um, but it just, I just, and now I love them. I love Brussels sprouts. I, I usually steam them, have a little bit of uh, olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Uh, get them brown. Uh, you cut them in half, get them browned a little bit, and then you put the cover on, put a little water in there and steam them for a couple minutes, and they're awesome. Isn't that something? So we could turn this into a cooking show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so, but, uh, you know, uh, to your point about, you know, you know, super overly active taste buds as, uh, as, a, as a young, young child, I think that makes a lot of sense. I, I really do, you know, and maybe because you haven't experienced all the tastes, you know, every single taste that you experience is new and, uh, and yeah, uh, you know. But I, I do believe that, that our taste buds are probably pretty vibrant when we're young and they do kind of fade after we've eaten for so many years. <laughs> Mine are dead. I don't know. I don't, I don't taste much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Dad. I, I learned something today. I, that's just wonderful. I appreciate that. I love you, buddy. It's been love fun. You.
See ya. Yeah. See ya.